Miranda Lambert's properties are proof that she's never strayed too far from her country girl roots despite her success in the music industry. Since 2015, she's lived in a luxury bachelorette pad, then upgraded to a 400 acre property with features like its own lake, and is even recently said to be building herself a brand new home too. However, one thing these properties have in common is that they're all located in the state Miranda knows and loves, Tennessee. And today, we're gonna take a look. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. American country music sensation Miranda Lambert has been a mainstay of the genre ever since she got her start in the early 2000s. Over the course of a nearly two decade long career, Miranda has earned numerous achievements and awards. In fact, no other artist has ever won more Academy of Country Music awards than she has. Not only that, but seven of Miranda's albums have all reached the number one spot on the Billboard Country Albums chart. All of that is to say that in the world of country music, they don't come much more successful than Miranda, and while she's managed to earn a whopping $60 million net worth over the course of her career. Born in Texas and a country girl through and through, Miranda has taken her fortune and purchased herself a number of homes in the great state of Tennessee. She first moved there in 2015, shortly after her split from Blake Shelton, and purchased herself a luxurious estate that the press quickly took to calling her bachelorette pad. Despite how gorgeous that home is, trust me, you'll find out for yourself soon enough. After just over a year of living there, Miranda decided that she needed a little more space to really stretch her way. And by a little more space, what I mean is a 400 acre property that includes three houses, two cabins, a lake, a boathouse, a barn, walking trails, and a pavilion thrown in for good measure. Oh, and she's also about to build herself a brand new home on top of all that. Hey guys, I'm Kara the Vampire Slayer, and join me as I take you inside the homes of country music superstar Miranda Lambert here for you on Famous Entertainment. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram to chat. Despite being born and raised in Texas, Miranda has been living the country life in Tennessee ever since splitting from her former husband, Blake Shelton. Back in 2015, then she was going through an extremely difficult time and she decided she needed a complete and total change to reinvigorate herself. As a country music star, Nashville always maintained a special place in Miranda's heart. And now that she was free to live her own life once again, she decided to put down roots in a city that represents so much to her chosen art form. Speaking of Nashville, she said, I feel like Nashville is somewhere where you can go if you need to be a dreamer and not be judged about it. I spent a lot of time here on highs and lows. I went through a really hard time in my life. I moved here in 2015 in the middle of a shit show, but I was lifted up by people who were like, we got you girl. Determined to turn her personal life back around, Miranda moved to Nashville in 2015 and discovered a gorgeous five bedroom, five and a half bathroom mansion, paying $1.75 million for it in the process. This gated and very private residence offers all the seclusion that someone as famous as Miranda could possibly want, while also maintaining a homey interior full of warmth and style. This spacious living room featured a raised ceiling, a truly spectacular stone fireplace, and all the rustic furniture you could ever dream of affording. Meanwhile, the nearby kitchen is spacious and highlighted by some gigantic double islands, one of which Miranda had transformed with a bar-style seating arrangement. While Miranda and her current hubby, policeman Brendan McLaughlin, were riding out the worldwide lockdown last year, he made her more than a few spectacular meals in this kitchen. Upstairs, the master suite comes with all the bells and whistles, including his and her bathrooms, and an attached luxury porch for lounging around on those warm and beautiful summer days. In fact, there are porches all around this place from which anyone can soak up some awe-inspiring views of nature. Miranda is well known for writing a bunch of her material while sitting outside on her magic porch. Communing with nature and feeling waves of inspiration wash over her is how she produces such magical moments like the creation of her song, Bluebird. Or maybe the views that are inspiring Miranda are a little more carnal in nature. Seriously, does this dude ever wear a shirt? 
But the crazy thing is, as amazing as this house looks, it's a far cry away from the home Miranda would move into next, a true farmhouse located roughly an hour drive south of Nashville. About a year after moving to Tennessee, Miranda found herself a 400 acre piece of lush green farmland with rolling hills, rustic living spaces, a truly gigantic horse barn, and about as much privacy as a celebrity could possibly want when she discovered this $3.4 million piece of property. This magical place contains not one, not two, but three residences, including a caretaker apartment located on the top level of a six bay equipment garage. Oh, and did I mention that it has its very own lake with an attached boathouse? Because it does. Of the total 400 acres, about 75 of them are fenced in to act as pasture land for the heaping number of farm animals that Miranda now owns. There are also some gorgeous lighted walking trails surrounding the property, many of which lead to a lovely pavilion, where Miranda no doubt throws a number of private concerts for friends and family when they come to visit. The inside of the 3,544 square foot main home features a variety of wood finishes, on top of an open plan living room with high wood beam ceilings, a cozy little fireplace, leather furniture, and floor to ceiling windows that let in all that natural light. Nearby is a gigantic kitchen that features a double stove with some unique turquoise coloring, complemented by the white walls, a breakfast bar, and tons of shelving for plenty of storage. In addition to the main house, Miranda's property also features two rustic but lush cabins, the larger of which has its own front porch, a living room with high ceilings, a small kitchen, and one bedroom with an ensuite sweet bathroom featuring double sinks. A short walk from there across a wooden footbridge leads to the smaller cabin which has a living room and bedroom combination alongside a fireplace, kitchenette, and a bathroom with an awesome clawfoot tub. But the best part about this home for Miranda is the memories it holds, because this is where she and Brendan married back in 2019. Speaking about her decision to hold a very private ceremony, Miranda mentioned, I was married before and it was a huge wedding and everything was very public. So was my divorce. I learned then that it's not for everybody else. This is my actual life. With Brendan, I made it a point to keep it as private as I could for as long as I could. And yet Miranda must have found herself getting restless because recently news has broken that these two, well, they have decided to build themselves a brand new home. Remember that Nashville mansion I showed you guys first? Well, according to public records, Miranda recently sold that place in 2020 for around $2.6 million. Why would she sell such a fantastic place? Well, according to what she recently told Taste of Country, she's about to move all over again. I moved and I'm creating a new magic porch. We're building a house, so we're living in a little cabin out back of the house. Everyone is like, where are you gonna put your Grammy? I'm like, I don't know yet. Beyond those details, not much else is known about Miranda and Brendan's new place, but it sounds like they're either camping out in their farmhouse property while it's getting built, or their new property also has a whole bunch of land, and they're holed up in a small cabin that's on the premises while their primary residence is being built. As for where it's located or what it looks like, we'll stay tuned. Once all that information finally gets released, you know we'll have it all right here for you. For now, I think this is a good place to bring our Miranda Lambert house tour to an end. After seeing the country stars two properties, including what was dubbed her Nashville bachelorette pad and her 400 acre farm, what did you guys think? Which would you rather live in? And what did you think she has planned for her new house? Be sure to let me know all of that in the comments down below because I love hearing from you guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give me a shout on Instagram and tell me which celebrity homes you'd like me to feature next on here. I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye!